What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Starfield's newest update 1.7.29. This is a very small hotfix, but Bethesda also talked about a lot of improvements that are coming very soon that I think a lot of the community will be really excited about. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my twitter, and of course if you enjoyed the video hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now when it comes to the update, like I said, it is a very small kind of hot fix it was performance and stability fixes for xbox series x and s and three quest fixes all that money can buy into the unknown and shadows and neon all had some issues or some bugs going on within those three quests and those were fixed with this small update but they went on to say kind of a, they wanted to give an enormous thank you to all of you playing starfield and for your support and they're absolutely blown away by the response and all uh, you love about the game. It says the first update is a small hot fix targeted at a few of the top issues that they're seeing. But it says after this, expect a kind of regular interval of updates that have top community requested features included things like brightness and contrast controls, HDR calibration menu, NVIDIA DLSS support for PC, uh, ultra wide monitor support for uh, PC, the eat button for food. And one of the most important things that I think a lot of people are going to really like is a FOV slider. Because right now, if you're on PC or on console, there is no option for an FOV slider. The only thing that is available are some uh, FOV mods that you can get on PC. But having a dedicated FOV slider in, your, uh, in the game will be absolutely uh, a thing that I think a lot of people are going to love. It says they're also working closely with NVIDIA and AMD and Intel on driver support. And each update will include new stability and uh performance improvements for Intel, NVIDIA, and AMD. So this sounds really great. This is something that I know a lot of people are really going to be happy to hear because all of this stuff that they're going to do with these updates, not only fixing the game, but adding these things in that the community is asking for. And they also talked a little bit more about the in-game built-in mod support, which I did make a video about yesterday. If you have not seen that, I'll pop it up in the top corner right now. That will work across all platforms similar to what they have done with Skyrim and Fallout. This is fully supported and planned to launch early next year. So this is going to be a built-in mod support for uh, Starfield that will be available on PC and Xbox. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about these changes, of course, that they're looking to make in the future with some of these community our kind of top community requested features let me know if there's anything that wasn't really really requested on this list that you would like to see added into starfield and i'll catch you all next time peace